So I wanted to talk about some of the hidden features on the Nikon C6 II, but there's actually so many that I decided for today to only look at the hidden features of the display. <laughs> I think that this is an excellent lens. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and professionally I'm a software developer but my free time I love landscape photography and making related videos here on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you six hidden features of the display on the Nikon Z6 II and other Nikon mirrorless cameras. Now if you are interested in hearing more hidden features that this camera has definitely let me know in the comments and I'll try to make more videos about it in the future. There are lots of different things on this camera that are kind of subtle. So jumping right in, there are two features that I rely on a lot in this camera when I'm photographing the landscape to make sure that I get the horizon line level. I think that maybe it's because of the weight and balance of the Z6 II, I have a pretty hard time just roughly judging when I've gotten the horizon level in the camera, resulting in quite a few crooked photos until I started taking more advantage of these two things. Number one is actually a level that you can display on the screen which shows you when the camera is level and that's really nice when you're shooting on a tripod as well as handheld because it can be hard to see the levels on the tripod when you have it set up in different positions but this level is always right there. Uh, to access it you just hit the display button to cycle through the options there and one of them is the level. There are some other useful features there as well, uh, like a histogram, so check those out too. Next is the thirds grid. Uh, this is really helpful for getting level photos because you can line up the grid lines with the horizon as well as with other subjects in the photo to get a straight image. You can also of course use this to position elements in the frame in a pleasing layout using the rule of thirds. This grid can be displayed by pressing on the little joystick. Third though, what if you just want to hide all of that and see only your image by itself? To do that, you can actually press the record button while you're in photo mode and it will hide all of the info on the screen so you can get a good look at the photo you're about to take. When you're ready to view that info again, just press the record button a second time to bring it all back up. Fourth is something that is really helpful when you are using one of the specified focus point modes, uh, which is that you can press the OK button to bring the focus point back to center. That can get the point across the screen a lot faster when it's all the way at one side and needs to go to the other, or it's really helpful if you just want to get a quick photo of something that's in the center and you know, you're know you getting that quick snapshot, move the point back to center by hitting the OK button and get the picture. Fifth, you can use the zoom in and out buttons to actually zoom the display. Now this isn't zooming your actual image, that's only controlled by the lens, but that and the arrow keys just allow you to get a closer look at something. That can be really helpful when you're trying to check out what's in focus, but it can also be really nice just to use your camera for looking at something that's really small or far away. Finally, number six, a subtle feature of this camera is that when you pull out the display, the viewfinder actually disables. The display turns off when your camera senses that you've put your eye up to the viewfinder, but it also turns off if you move your hand or something in front of the eyepiece sensor, which is pretty common while you're using the camera on a tripod. So I believe this feature was actually introduced in the Z6 II and is not available in the regular Z6, but when you pull the display out from the camera, the viewfinder switching will actually disable. So when you're shooting on a tripod, just pull that out and then it won't bother you anymore by disabling the screen while you're using it.
so that is all six features and hopefully you enjoyed this and learned something about your new camera and if you did don't forget to hit the like button on your way out and to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more videos that I'm really excited to share with you in the future. Also if you do want to see more videos about hidden features on this camera definitely let me know in the comments. As always thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.